This is Aaron Trader. The pitch just closed here about five minutes ago, so we are going to review crude oil and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recognition to buy, sell a stock commodity ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude, yo daily chart. Now, if you watched my videos last uh, couple days here, you notice that I've been pointing out here that this was a possible bear flag, okay? Since it closed above this candle right here at 70.33, that pattern is negated. That is not a bear flag now, okay? But you always want to look uh, for bear flags, uh, bull flags. Uh, you want to watch all your candlesticks here for resistance and support, all your SMAs here, your trend lines. Look for bo double bottoms, double tops, um, you know, breakouts. Anything that will give you an edge on how to make uh, a money quicker, faster, okay? So, um, right now, we had a really good run-up here off of this low, okay? This was uh, 68, uh, 680, uh, but you notice that it closed above at 67.34 of this level right here. So, very, very nice. Then we had uh, green candles. We went right on up here, and today is a really nice green candle, okay? So, you're sitting right now here at 72.01, the top of this candle here, 71.77, very, very nice. So now what we wanna do is look at the top of this candle here. You're looking at uh, 72.33, then we go up here at um, uh, 73.28, uh, and then we have a nice shot here at 73.83, that is your 50 SMA here, and then we have our 100 right, just right above at 74.77. Uh, now, a close above these key price channels right here. See, you're looking at 74.73 top, 66.80 at the bottom. Then we got a good shot here at 78.51 here on your 200 SMA. What you really need is this 200 SMA here and this 100 and this 50 to start flattening out, okay? See how this 21 day, see how it's trying to flatten out? That way they can have flatten out and then curl right up and take the price much higher. Now, what we wanna do is look for support. So your support right here now is going to be this 21, sitting at 71.11. You want to look here at 70.22. Uh, that is going to be uh, your eight day. These two are very, very important levels right there. Okay. Now, if that's lost, then we start looking to the top of this candle here. You're looking at uh, 69.83. We look at uh, yesterday's low. You're looking at 68.14. And then what we do is we look here, we look at a 67.15. And then your big retest here is 66.80. Uh, but so far, this nice double bottom off of this candle here is holding up very, very nicely. And your or your uh, trend range here between your price channels is hold also holding up very, very nicely, 74.73, 66.80. Now, we have to see what's going to happen here like over the weekend. Now, remember, um, it's a, a U.S. holiday on Monday, so the market will be closed. So we'll have to look for Tuesday. Now, usually I do crude oil and natural gas on Sunday. I'll be doing that Monday night here as soon as the future is open so you can get ready for Tuesday morning. All right, let's take a look here now on your weekly and your monthly charts. Okay, here we have your weekly chart. Now, what we have to look at here on the upside is you want to look at this key 8 SMA here. You're sitting at 72.12, okay? Very, very, very going to be strong resistance. If you can close above, then we just keep on looking here. You got 73.28, you got 73.55, and then your target is going to be right there at 74.83. That is your 21 SMA. All right, above that, we have 81, uh, uh, 20, that's your 50 SMA here. Then we look to your price channel at 83.53. Then we have the 100 day just above that at 84.90. Okay, now on the downside, basically watch this key support. 67.37, that's a 200 SMA, very, very strong and very important resistant levels. If that's uh, lost, then we look at the bottom here, 65.38, 64.36, and then your big retest there of the uh, price channel there, which would be 63.64. Your monthly, nothing's really changed. You're basically just go right between your 50 SMAs, now it's 66.11, and we have your 200 SMA sitting at 72. 74. So you have a good good range right there of trading here. Obviously, if it gets above, then we look to always look for the 8 SMA, 7609. 
and then your big uh, retest there at uh, 85, 82. Your 21 day is uh, is flattening out really, really nice here. We just have to do something with this uh, 8 SMA here to get it working right back on up here. But crude right now had a really good uh, rally here. Let's just see uh, if it can last. Um, now, the rig count came out, and they dropped the rigs on the, the oil, and they dropped the rigs on the natural gas here. So I think people are looking for a little bit higher prices going into summer driving. All right, we'll take a look here now at the old Natty Gas. Okay, now Natty Gas. Now we're going to look at something a little bit different today. You have a one-hour chart and a four-hour chart, okay? So you can see where this is This is basically come from. Off of that 203 uh, level here, see, you, you have a nice double bottom right here, okay? So if you look at this candle here and this candle here, you've got a really nice double bottom there. See, and then what you're doing is you're putting in higher lows, higher lows. Very, very good. See, but where you're going to have an issue here is going to be the top at 2.685. That's going to be the big key level. If you can close above, then she can rip uh, uh, much higher, okay? So you always want to take a look here on your hourly chart and your four-hour uh, chart just to see what is, it's more doing like more of an intraday kind of an action. So now let's just take a look here what's going on on the daily. Okay, here we have the daily. We got to stretch right on out. All right, what we have is you got a big long basing uh, pattern here. Uh, the key is is these price channels, 2.685, just like we pointed out there on the uh, four hour chart, and then your bottom is 2.136. Okay, now you're above all your moving averages here. Okay, you're above your 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 50 and your 21 day here and your 8 SMA here. So these are starting to cross over here. If they can, they will push this price right on up. Now, if we can close above this key level here, 2.685, then what you want to do here is you always want to start looking to the left of the chart here. Okay, so then we have a lot of targets here. So you got uh, basically 2.83, okay, uh, 2.86. And then this is the uh, recast 3.027. That is where the target, the first target is, is going to go if you can close above that key 2.685. Uh, now at the bottom, just watch all your key SMAs here uh, for uh, support. You're basically in a 2.3 uh, uh, level there. Uh, so just watch all that support. Uh, it just right now is having a good day. The key is to break out above that candle right there. And that is going to be very, very difficult. But if it does, then we have a good shot up. Let's take a look here on the weekly and the uh, monthly. Okay, your weekly chart. Now, this is starting to look uh, a, a pretty pretty nice right here, okay? See how we had the nice crossover here on that? That's looking really nice here. Your RSI has a lot of room to run here. Uh, it's looking pretty good. But again, all these levels here are all your resistant levels here, okay? Then we look, we just keep going to the left. That's where all the things were. You got 2.67 there. You got uh, 2.83, and that's going to be the retest right there. That I pointed out 3.027. That is going to be, uh, that would be the target if you can close above the 2.68. And then, you know, if you can move higher right there, 3.75, that is the ultimate target, the 200 SMA. That is what we're actually looking for here, uh, here, you know, going forward. Now, we need some disruption. We need some kind of a, a catalyst here, something to take this uh, higher. Okay. Well, I tell you what, so I will uh, post uh, crude oil and natural gas here on Monday night because due to the holiday. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.